Hello you guys, welcome back to the channel. Happy Friday, or it's Friday as I'm filming this. I don't think this vlog is actually going up next Friday. It might go up a little sooner than that, but hello, welcome back. Another video, another vlog. If you guys are new here, my name is Ruby. I post tons of New York City content, sit down videos, vlogs, um, just like a lot of fun stuff. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. We're trying to hit 6K. That is the next goal here for this channel. I'm starting this vlog a little bit later. Um, it's currently 4.11 on a Friday, so a little bit later. Later. Um, I'm gonna produce a show in like 45 minutes and then I'm actually going out to dinner with the people whose show I'm working on um, so I'm gonna go out for dinner in the city obviously socially distanced it's actually my first time eating out in over eight months which is crazy but I am fully vaccinated um, and it's not something that I plan on doing a lot probably just a couple times a month if that um, me and Kevin are still trying to be really really careful, but still very exciting gonna go out to dinner in the city um, I wanted to do a little q and in today's vlog. I asked for some questions over on my Instagram But first and foremost, we're gonna do something really exciting today. We are finally going to be decorating my computer case uh, This is something that I talked about in a vlog um, Probably like a week or so ago. I have all of these vinyl stickers that I got from Paper Source. A few of them I got from Etsy. These ones I got from Etsy and a couple others that are buried somewhere. And so I thought it would be fun to just do this together. Okay, so like I said, here's my computer case. Here are all the stickers. We're gonna set those aside for a second. So what I think I'm gonna do is I want it to be so that when I like open up my computer case, the stickers are like right side up to whoever's like looking at the case, you know what I mean? So when the case is closed, they're gonna look backwards. So what I did for now is I put the back of the case closer to me so that we can just do it like that. And it's gonna be right side up while I, you know, put them all on. This case, by the way, for my MacBook Pro is from Amazon. It's just light pink. I'll link it down below. It also comes with a jelly, like, keyboard cover too, which I love. But we're just gonna kinda get right into this. I'm gonna, like, lay them all out, see how I like them, and then we'll actually, like, stick them on to the case. I'm so excited. It's kind of like an art project. I'm not very artistic, so the stickers will have to do. <laughs> guys we're done it took me so long to peel off the backs of those stickers I don't know why I didn't think that that was gonna happen but I love this I hope I don't get demonetized for showing you guys these stickers but I'm just gonna do it anyways I can't I love it at first I was like do I need more stickers or is this too much but I honestly think it's kind of perfect and I'm really obsessed with it I just think it's fun and I just, I love vinyl stickers, and now I have a really cool custom, like, computer case. So it was a fun little artsy moment with you guys. So, like I said, um, I'm producing a show in a few minutes. Sorry, a little piece of Dakota hair caught on my camera. Um, so I'm going to touch up. I did some, uh, like, messy, beachy waves with my straightener yesterday, and they kind of fell out. I've been using a really old straightener. I got this like literally years ago from Sephora. It used to work really well, but now it's like literally almost dead. It hardly heats up at all. I have a new hair straightener coming uh, in like a week um, because I wanted to wait until it was on sale. So I'm just gonna try and work with this for a second then I'll be back and I have to produce. I was gonna do the Q&A now, but peeling off those stickers took more time than I thought. So I think we might do the Q&A after I get home from dinner or after the show before I go out to dinner. It's just gonna depend on like my schedule. I'm logging into Produce right now. My hair looks crazy because it's behind my ear. But I touched up the waves and I just feel a lot better about it. Put some sea salt spray in it or some wave spray and uh, we're good to go. So I'm gonna produce and I'm very hot. I also don't love what I chose to wear but it's fine. We'll change for dinner. So I'm going out to dinner. I'm just gonna bring my phone I think because I'm with friends. I don't really know if I want to whip out the vlog camera but I'll definitely bring my phone. We're going to Serafina so just like kind of keeping it casual but I still want it to look cute. So I'm wearing my new glasses from Oliver Peoples. 
also ignore my hair. I don't know what's happening. I was like having a good hair day and now it's kind of flat. But anyways, my everyday necklaces are here. My white button up is from Madewell. I just tucked it into my jeans. My leather jacket is from Nordstrom. It's from Blank NYC. I'm wearing some J brand jeans, some super high rise, kind of like a charcoal gray color um, and then I'm just wearing my white Nikes. I actually really like this outfit and it feels good to get dressed up to go eat. I mean it's not like a very dressy outfit. I'm keeping it pretty casual with like the sneakers and stuff but I feel like the leather jacket is fun and I love this top. I forget how much I love this top for Madewell. It's actually pretty long so you can wear it like a ton of different ways. It's really versatile. So I'm the worst. I didn't vlog at all <laughs> when we went out to dinner but we're back now with Miss Dakota and I think I was gonna just vlog like today and make that one and then vlog over the weekend and make that a separate thing but I think I'm just gonna start the weekend vlog off here because it's Friday it's almost the weekend am I right so I'm just gonna get ready for bed it was very very cold towards the end of dinner um, outside so I'm gonna take this time to warm up do my skincare and kind of get ready for bed call it an early night before the weekend so I will see you guys tomorrow <laughs> obsessed ignore this cut on my nail right here but I am obsessed with the manicure that I just gave myself at home at first I was gonna do like a cow print accent nail but now I think it looks more like light pink clouds regardless I think these are so cute um, I'm really really obsessed with these a nice little Saturday morning at home manicure happy Saturday you guys I am going out to meet my mom for like a late little breakfast and I think she wants to uh, shop the Sephora sale oh my gosh but since I'm a rouge I get the 20% off so I think I'm gonna go with her but I'm gonna head out the door I just wanted to show you guys my nails because I'm I'm kind of obsessed with them <laughs> it's a little bit later I changed my shirt because um a bird pooped on my shoulder and no i'm not making that up that's like the fourth time that a bird has pooped on me in the last six months i've heard that's like good luck but it also just might be people making you feel better because like a bird pooped on you anyways um i have my computer here with me with my fancy new case that i love i posted a picture of this on my ig story last night and everybody was like oh my god where did you get those stickers um so it was fun but i'm gonna do a little bit of editing um before meeting up with my mom and sister i think we're gonna all have dinner together tonight um and yeah but for now i want to start editing that's really all i have left to do today i posted my tiktoks responded to all of my emails and now i just need to edit a video and also kind of finish like setting up my ipad because sometime this week i want to do like a what's on my ipad video for you guys um so i want to make sure that i kind of have everything like all organized and done by that time but for now i'm going to see how far i can get into some editing made a little Starbucks run it's actually a lot later I kind of slept in this morning so instead of doing breakfast right now I just have a cheese and fruit box from Starbucks and an iced matcha latte very exciting uh, I'm gonna eat this and then we'll talk about the day I know that I didn't vlog a lot yesterday um, oh wait I think there's a smudge on my camera hang on really hope that smudge hasn't been there uh, the entirety of this vlog I don't think it has though I think I might have like touched the lens yesterday accidentally anyways I'm gonna eat this and then we'll 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 do things today um, my hair looks so bad right now just in a very messy ponytail I have to record a podcast send some emails set up my iPad that'll be really fun I'm gonna do that today I was trying to do it yesterday but uh, I needed to push it back to today and I'm sure there's gonna be other stuff that comes along too it's a pretty gloomy day outside today um, which I don't mind because it's just a Sunday and I you know don't have many places to be and I've just been like sending emails from home and stuff but I am about to go outside quickly for my one errand of the day um, it is the third day of the Sephora VIB sale and I thought I was actually going to have to order most 
everything online that I needed, um, but I checked the inventory at the Sephora closest to me, or one of the Sephora's closest to me, and they have almost everything back in stock that I need to pick up, repurchase, so I think we're gonna do that today. You guys know I'm on a no-buy, but there are some things that I need to repurchase because I'm about to run out of, so we're just gonna do that while there's a sale going on at Sephora. Um, so I'm gonna put Dakota away and then while I'm out, I'm probably gonna pick up some dinner My mom and sister are still in town or my mom's still in town. My sister lives here But they're doing something tonight. They're going to like the friends exhibit here in the city So I'm gonna handle dinner on my own. I need to go grocery shopping like tomorrow Or Tuesday probably Tuesday. So I'm gonna be ordering some dinner for myself or maybe not ordering it I'm gonna go and pick it up. I just don't know what I'm doing. But first let's get dressed. I'll go to Sephora and then We'll just see what happens. I feel like that's so many of my vlogs, just like, we'll see what happens also. Oh my gosh, she is so sweet. This is what she does all day. She just lays on our bed and she's so sweet and she lays with me while I work. And then she'll get the zoomies. So we'll play and then I'll take her on a walk. And then she goes right back here. Just got back home. I got some dinner from Tartinery, which I featured in my last vlog, I think, but I wanted to try something different. So I got one of their like caprese sandwiches and a cup of their like soup of the day. They had this zucchini soup that sounded really good. Dakota is eating her dinner. I have my Sephora order right here. I'm not gonna show you guys what I got. I'm gonna film a separate haul video for that, but you can tell I definitely picked up some things when you get the uh, the medium-sized bag. It's wet because it was raining outside. But very excited for everything that I got there. I'm super hungry though, so I'm just going to unpack my food and probably stuff it down my face. Honestly, their whole menu looks really good. Like they have um, the tartines, which I believe are like open-faced sandwiches essentially. They have soup. They have breakfast stuff. I really want to try their breakfast stuff. And they had this caprese sandwich that looked really, really good. Oh, looks so good. I might heat it up a little bit. That soup smells so good. Perfect for a cozy night in. So I'm gonna eat this and then I'm going to finish planning out my solo episode for my podcast and then we have to record that. Garage Band is open. I have my podcast mic right here. I'm actually doing a solo episode today. So I'm gonna try and like kind of not edit it as much afterwards so what i'm going to do is if i need to like stop and restart and like say something again i'm probably just going to stop recording because when i do solo episodes i try and kind of like edit as i go if that makes sense so that's what we're going to do also my skin is looking so splotchy in this light i'm not sure why i know that it's just the lighting though so anyways yep we're doing an episode celebrating kind of like my one year of working for myself and everything that i've learned over the last year or so i'm gonna record this and then i'm gonna upload it right afterwards so that it's ready for the um not premiere but so that it goes up tomorrow at 8 a.m which is when all of my new episodes go up so excited the podcast is exporting and then i can immediately put it in anchor and schedule it for tomorrow morning but it was actually a really great episode i really encourage you guys to listen um, I talked about just a lot of stuff that I've learned over the last year. So for anybody who is a fellow business owner, entrepreneur, freelancer, is considering like starting their own business and you know has dreams of becoming their own boss, I would really heavily consider giving it a listen. I think that it was packed full of like hopefully good information, information that I wish I definitely would have known um, before starting but yeah okay so my podcast is finished exporting so i'm going to put it in anchor and then we'll be good for tomorrow morning and then other than finishing setting on my ipad that's literally all i had to do for today so we are right on schedule <laughs> Happy Monday. Um, so before I end off the vlog, I wanted to just do a little quick q and I was going to end the vlog last night and do this, but then Kevin went to bed early. I didn't really feel like whispering. I also looked really bad because I was exhausted. So I was like, you know what? Let's finish it out with a little Q&A 
this morning. I've never done a Q&A in my vlogs before. I usually always make them like a completely separate video, but I asked for questions on my Instagram a few days ago, so I thought, you know what, that might be fun. Also, if you guys have any questions that you want me to answer for a future Q&A, uh, leave them down in the comments of this video, or also just like shoot me a DM on Instagram. It's usually where I ask for questions a lot too, so be sure to follow me on there if you're not already. A lot of people wanted to know how I felt after the COVID vaccine, so for those who don't know i got the johnson and johnson one and done covid vaccine so i got it as i'm filming this last tuesday so i'm almost a week out from getting the vaccine i got my vaccine at noon on a tuesday um and i felt totally fine until about 10 45 at night i got a fever of about 104 it lasted for three hours and then that was it i didn't get like any side effects other than that no body aches, my arm wasn't sore, I didn't have fatigue, like I felt totally fine other than those three hours. So honestly, it really wasn't a bad experience. Kevin was the exact same way. Kevin had a fever for like five hours and that was it. So again, really not that bad, but I think that's because we were super diligent about staying really hydrated. We chugged liquid IVs like our lives depended on it. I also just always kept moving. I kept my arm moving throughout the day. So I think that's really what helped me. People really went in on the questions this time. I'm only gonna answer a few, but like, dang. Have you ever smoked pot before? Even that just coming out of my mouth sounds funny. So no, I've never smoked before. It's just honestly not my thing, but I have nothing against it. Like I have plenty of friends who do. Okay, be honest. Did you drink before 21? No. Uh, that is the complete honest answer. I did not drink before I turned 21 and even now at almost 22 years old I rarely have a drink if ever. Again, it's just not really my thing. I also don't like love the taste of alcohol. I have never really found a drink that I love besides the occasional like pretty expensive drink. I've honestly found that anytime I enjoy a drink out in the city, it's always the most expensive drink on the menu. Um, so that's a reason that I don't really drink. But also it's just, yeah, it's just not really my thing. Again, I have nothing against it if you do. My boyfriend drinks, my friends drink. I'm not one to be like, oh, you can't drink around me. It's just like, if you offer me one, nine times out of 10, I'm gonna say no. What made you wanna become an actor? So this is actually a really good question, but one that I really don't have a great answer for. To be completely honest, there has never been a time in my life where I ever wanted to do something else. Like ever since I could speak, I think I said I was gonna be a singer or an actor. It's just always kind of been like in my DNA and something that I've always wanted to do. I could never see myself like pursuing something else or doing something else. And obviously like I have other hobbies and other passions, but yeah, there was never a time where I, I didn't want to be an actor. Scale of one to 10, how much do you love Pad Thai? Um, infinity and beyond. Current favorite YouTubers to watch? Um, this is a great question. I literally all I watch is YouTube. It's so funny. I watch like maybe a little bit of TV. I'll watch the occasional movie with Kevin but YouTube is just like far more my thing. I feel like that's pretty much all I watch actually. Um, off the top of my head, I feel like my favorite YouTubers stay pretty consistent. I love Michelle Reed. I, I love her content. I also love her podcast. I love Natalie Barbu. I love Brooke Michio, Kenzie Elizabeth, Julia and Hunter. I really like them too. Um, I really like, I'm looking through my YouTube like history right now. I really like Nikki Sky for fashion content and just like fashion tips. Katie Bellotti, really love her and I'm so happy that she just moved back to New York. And those are kind of it off the top of my list. Like I love just a lot of like lifestyle vloggers, beauty content, New York City content, because as somebody who also lives here, I just love seeing the city through other people's like point of view. I think that's all I'm gonna answer in today's video, just because I feel like that was a couple questions and this vlog is probably gonna end up being much longer than I think it is. But also I have a meeting on Zoom in 10 minutes, so I just want time to like set up my computer and also tidy up my room a little bit because I just filmed my Sephora VIB sale haul, so my room is a little bit of a mess right now. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this like weekend vlog with a little bit of a Friday and a Monday in it. Um, if you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and also click that subscribe button down below. We're trying to reach 6K. That's the next goal here for this channel. Be sure to follow me on all of my other social media networks, subscribe to my podcast, check out my Amazon shop. You guys know the drill. I love you all so much. I hope that you guys are staying safe, happy, and healthy, and I will talk to you all in my next video, which is probably a vlog. Okay, bye.